What's up, peoples? I know it's been a really long time. In fact, the last thing that I was busy with was the whole Acrobrat. And I just realized, you know, I didn't really talk about the Acrobrat on my channel. Now, I came up with the Acrobrat really because I just felt like the community, the industry, this hobby was missing an option. You see, I've always looked at GoPros as kind of like the DSLR, if you will, or like the pro category in the FPV world. And what is missing, or has been missing for a long time now, is something in between analog footage and that high-end, well, I'm just gonna consider a high-end GoPro footage. And so, I wanted to create, you know, and push something like the Runcam Split Mini. And so the Acrobrat was really designed around the Runcam Split Mini. If you wanna check out more information, check out the Rotor Riot episode where I do the overview where I really go real deep about kind of what went behind the Acrobrat. But it has been several months now and I, Acrobrat success, so major thanks to you guys for everyone that's supporting. And because of the success, we've got this huge Facebook group called the Acrobrats, where we've got an awesome community. And this right here is an example of that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Dude, check this out. Check this out. This is a drawing from Kent West. So Kent West, major thanks to you, man. This was drawn by, an, uh, by obviously a fellow pilot in the Acrobrat community, and he's obviously about it. And it's things like this that really, you know, it makes me feel, feel really good that I'm, I'm, I'm in this community, I'm in this industry, and I'm making products for this hobby let's see what else oh look at that i might as well show off the rest of the stuff kent you are really talented chad this is you uh i need to send this to you and there is one more here sharpu sharpu wherever you are i need to come find you because i need to give you this super dope drawing of you again kent west major thanks to you man but again just kind of going back to the whole acrobrats the whole acrobrat movement if you will because the Acrobrat is so small, it like basically, uh, you know, like nobody hears it. Nobody bats an eye when you fly it. It's small, it's compact, charging batteries for it takes a fraction of the time, and the batteries for it are just, you know, affordable. Everything around the Acrobrat is just that much more affordable. Come here, we'll go check out the bag because I'm gonna show you some other things that I really, really enjoy about my Acrobrat here. This. This right here, this is all I need. Hey Wilbur, say what's up to everybody. Buddy, hey buddy. Okay look, this is my bag that I use to carry all of my stuff in. Now, believe it or not, I've got in that bag <laughs> two Acrobrats with props on. I've got my Tyrannus radio in there. I've got my Fat Shark goggles all the antennas. I've got about 40, yes you heard me, 40 bags. Not 40 props, but 40 bags with a set of props in there. So that's like, four, there's almost 160, you know what, I'll just show you. All right, in there, that's, this right here is a bag of 20 props. Behind there is a bag of 20 props, so for a total of 40. This right here is just a big 1800 milliamp uh, battery that I bring because what I do is in this pocket, I've got my Q6 charger, so this way I can charge in the field and I've got miscellaneous tools in there and a spare goggle battery. And then, now, if I open this up, that's brat number one with brat number two back there. So those are the Brat motors, T-style props. And the whole point of that is because you save the weight of the M5 prop shaft and you gain that much more performance, more responsiveness, because you don't have that rotational mass anymore. Moving right along, so I've shown you two Brats, and now when I open up the main compartment, I've got my radio there. I've got some spare antennas and spare uh, motors over there. 
and then I've got 16 batteries. That's right, 16 batteries because in each one of these I fit two batteries because I run 650 milliamp packs. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Do the math. There's 16 batteries in there, goggle batteries, and fat trucks in there, all in that tiny little bag. And the best part about it is I get to keep all of my drones inside the backpack or my mini quads, depending on how you're talking about it. So when I'm walking around to the park or trying to do what I'm trying to do, I don't look suspicious because with my other backpacks, that's one of my backpacks. That used to be my backpack. This is the one that I use now. You know, I have to put the drones on the outside because I can only fit one on the inside. And uh, you just attract a little bit of attention. So anyways, today I am going out to meet Kev FPV. We are, uh, we're going to get together to get some footage because we want to kick off the next Acrobat Challenge, which is going to be Power Loops. Alright, sweet, pulled up to the spot. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Kev PV. Kevin, what's going on, man? What up? You guys don't know, <laughs> he is uh, an Acrobat team pilot. So we're out here filming some stuff. You know, we've got to kick off the new, the new Acrobat challenge. Which is going to be power loops, right? Yeah. So, I don't know exactly what the rules are going to be. He's going to be in charge of that. Maybe it's like power looping something epic. Maybe it's like the tightest power loop ever. All right, I might, I might have gotten that. Might have been the one. The exit wasn't as clean as I wanted it, but this is the bad boy back in business. All right, here we go. Here's the cool thing that I love about power looping and trees. You've got a vertical limit, which is super satisfying. Me and Kevin was talking about that earlier. So you can see here, you've got that V situation. But above there, you've got branches, tree line, and that thick branch. Uh, so you can't just be like full throttle to get the hell out. You actually got to modulate the throttle here. All right, here we go. How'd you feel about that one right there? <laughs> that one was really tight. That was really tight. Uh, like in person it's like oh yeah i can do it and then you put the goggles on and you're like Ooh. i know everything yeah, everything goggles. always looks different under the goggles once you put the goggles on it's a little bit of a reality check all right which one which one are you trying to get next that uh flat one right there all right so he's gonna go for 
that one right there. I'm gonna stand like right here and hopefully not get hit. No slow mo on this one. Little S flip. All right. Nice. Nice. Nice with a little reverse. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I see you did a little uh, victory, uh, victory Maddie there, which worked out. It worked out. It just uh, ran out of room at the back. See anything else you want? Oh, what about that? I like this. So look, look at how. I mean, this is really. All right. So Kevin's gonna hit this. You got a super short vertical uh, limbo bar down here, but. This is what's really going to matter is this top part right here. All right, I'm going to switch this to slow mo because I want to see this. And uh, all right, Kevin's over there getting ready. I'm going to set the camera. Man, I don't know where I can set this up where you can see it really good. We'll try right here though. Here we go getting it so again this is uh he's coming around that back branch i should probably i should probably be on this side yeah all right going for a little uh, little warm up Yeah, buddy! Nice! Alright, so we pretty much got, I think, what we need uh, to do that power loop challenge. Go check it out on my man Kevin's uh, YouTube channel. What's your, what's your YouTube channel? Uh, Kev PB. I think it's just one word. That's it. It's as simple as that, apparently. <laughs> check that out. Uh, check it out on the Facebook group called the Acro Brats. That's where we'll hold uh, the challenge. He's going to be one of the judges. Uh, as well as the rest of the, the acrobat team. But we are going to migrate on over up to the train tunnel and uh, just kind of finish out the rest of this day. So check it out. My life ain't looking like my trains no more Getting louder than a brother's ever seen for sure Throwing up real prayers like, oh my lord Oh, another word and it's cut like a sword All my homies right behind me Walking on a tight road, we all I want to call it Of course I've been walking in a narrow path As a narrow alley with some scattered trash I'm an average dude with a tattered past Blacker than most, but I'm glad you laugh Cause the light gotta shine and I know I might blind But it make it change size like Stacy Dash Woo! Dark delight, that's that Sammy Sosa Even when the cops tryna pull me over Got faith, I don't need a four-leaf clover Ooh. Even when I'm broke as a drug And I really ain't got no hope And I know how to swim, but I really can't float Then they come right beside me and they get that boy a boy like Ooh. Walking on water, but I living on a coast I was in the east, it was gonna be more But he walked up behind me and he get a boy a coat like Sell a good church, maybe like one day.